Bonjour, je m'appelle Christophe. Hmm, parlez-vous français? No? Yeah, me neither. Hey guys, I'm back from my adventures in Paris. Obviously. Fred, I've so missed you. Oh, how nice of you to say. Huh? I'd like to tell you all about my short holiday. Please, I don't like this part. Nah, but I'm going to talk about all the good things about the trip. And the bad. Joy. My two brothers, my future sister-in-law and myself stayed in the Hotel Cheyenne. 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 This place. And we soon discovered why it was only a two-star hotel. It looked pretty on the outside. It resembled buildings from the old Wild West. I almost felt like a cowboy. Then I got inside our hotel room and I felt like a dog in a kennel. It wasn't that big. I've had bigger rooms on my own when I was in Los Angeles and Florida. The room was so small I couldn't even take pictures. In other words, I forgot. Okay, okay, it wasn't all bad. The bed was very comfy. Shame though that it was a bunk bed that I'd share with my brother. Every time he climbed in and out of the top bunk I felt like I was on a bouncy castle. I also discovered that the lack of Wi-Fi was very annoying. Apparently you could connect to the hotel Wi-Fi in the bar or the lobby. Yeah, right. I connected my phone to the Wi-Fi and I managed to get a tweet out. Then I tried to go on Facebook, wouldn't have it. I tried some other things like emails, still wouldn't have it. So because of that I've had to wait until I've come home to upload my vlogs. Lissai. Bit enough about the hotel. Just know that I'll never stay there again. I wish you'd never come back. <laughs> Who's been sarcastic now? As for the parks, there are two. Disneyland Paris and Walt Disney Studios. What was good, apart from the amazing rides, was that they were next door to each other. So you could go from one park to the other and then back again. When we arrived at the first park, Disneyland Paris, we discovered that a lot of rides were being renovated. Like Star Tours. Only one of my favourites. I mean, it's July. Can't they do that in the winter time when no one is there? Then there was the problem of rides breaking down. I know, I know, many theme parks have this problem all the time, but we saw three break down, two at the same time. I've just realized I'm making it sound like I didn't have a good time. Far from it. They had Space Mountain, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, the Aerosmith roller coaster ride, and one of my absolute favorites, the Hollywood Tower of Terror. They're all fantastic rides. And they had some really great shows on as well. Ah, oh, and the weather. I'm still feeling the burns. Well, uh, Harris, did you see the uh, uh, uh? Yes, which kind of puzzled me. Disneyland Paris is nowhere near Paris. We had to take a train to the city, which took 50 minutes. That's the equivalent of me watching an episode of Elementary and still having time for a poo. Oh, and they really need to sort those trains out. You can go upstairs, you can go downstairs, but you can't go into the next carriage and they have no toilets. What's that all about? Anyway, moving on. Paris was beautiful. If you discount the amount of guys trying to sell you cheap knockoffs, which by the way is totally illegal and you should not interact with. And the security. Oh, the security. Unfortunately, I understand why. The last time I visited the Eiffel Tower, six years ago, you was able to just walk underneath, take your pictures, go up to the desk, pay for your ticket, and go into the tower and go up. Not now. You go through a security point, then you can go underneath the tower and take your pictures, then you get into this very long queue before you can buy your ticket, and then you go through another security point before you go up the tower. But if you love going up high places like I do, then it's totally worth it. And if any of you guys have been up there, you know that the views are incredible. I'm moving my hands about a lot again, aren't I? Also now on the first floor, they have some glass flooring, which my brother would not go anywhere near. And the best thing about it is it's only 17 euros to go to the top. Cheap as chips. Sorry, I mean French fries. We also visited Notre Dame, went on a cruise on the river, and we rode the hop on hop off bus. But keep an eye on the time. We managed to catch the last bus, but instead of dropping us off next to the train station, he dropped us off about a mile away because his tour run had finished. It's a good thing I'm good with maps. Do you think it for you? That cheapskate! He probably came back with more money than he went with! Actually, I really could not resist. Oh, this is epic. Awesome! If you want to see the vlogs of my adventures in Paris, you can click on the link below in the description. Anyway, it's time for me to go. Thanks for watching and subscribing if you have. Until the next time, peace out. I mean, au revoir. Au revoir? Hey, Jeff Cup. Jeff Cup? That was too easy, Percy. Yep, it's totally worth it. I just want to show you again the things that I bought while I was away. My Darth Vader bowl. 
I always enjoy buying key rings. I bought this one, Disneyland Paris, and it spins. This clapper key ring. The best key ring I bought though was this Captain America shield. Look at the detail of this. And on the back, look at that. It's awesome. One of the first things that I spotted and I said I'm buying that before I go home was this Indiana Jones mug. Look at the size of it, it's about a pint that. At least I think it is. <laughs> I've yet to use it, but I'm sure I will. You know if you watch my vlogs you've probably already seen this, but anyway. This Millennium Falcon die cast model. And I just want to go into a bit more detail about this in the next one was I was in the store and I saw that and I was thinking right I've got 50 euros this is 23 hang on let me just check that I'm right about that uh, yeah <laughs> and I was thinking oh what can I get for 27 and then I saw that this beauty except this is 55 euros and all I could think was I have to have this I have to it was stuck up there and then I remember there was a cash machine outside and my brother had told me, only a day before, that I can use my cash card in those ATMs. So, obviously this is the result, and it's his fault. What I'm really surprised about this is that it managed to survive my luggage on the way home. Go figure. What? I'm allowed to make puns now and then. In that time I could watch an episode of Elementary, and still have time for a poo.